throughout the history of YouTube, what I've seen is I've seen a lot of recycled videos. I've seen a lot of people do bleach reviews, I've seen a lot of people do narrator reviews. I've seen a lot of people do anime tags, even though they're not so common. But one thing I've never really seen is a manga tag. So that's what this video is going to be about. So now let's get into this right after that intro. <laughs> Alright guys, for the money subscribers who don't know me, my name is Shimigami X, aka Captain Captain X. I'm leader of Squad X. I'm here today to give you a somewhat different video. Instead of giving you an anime tag, which you've seen before, I'm in turn going to be giving you a manga tag. And this video originally stemmed from Tekken 101 who in turn tagged the Elite Ace, who then in turn tagged me. And what this video is going to pertain is 15 questions that are all anime slash manga related. So nonetheless, let's get into this. Alright, question number one. What was your first manga? Mm, if I remember rightly, I believe my first manga was this manga, Dragon Ball Z Volume 3. I don't know if you can see that because of the glare. But yeah, Dragon Ball Z Volume 3 by Akira Toriyama. Um, yeah, that was my first manga because, you know, Dragon Ball Z is like... I think everybody knows what Dragon Ball Z is at this point, we've all been through it, we've all seen the series, but yeah, that's my first ever manga, believe it or not, so yeah, real old school. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. Question number two, what was your most expensive manga? See, now here's the thing. To this day, I've always been an anime person over manga, just simply because I like to see animation, I enjoy and I appreciate animation because it's what I enjoy to do. So therefore I appreciate it more. So I've only recently started getting into even or even reading manga in the last like maybe three or four years. So that that's that. So as in terms of what my most expensive manga is, I actually have never bought a manga series. But both of these two mangas that I own, which are the only two that I own, were actually given to me. And they were given to me by a good friend of mine that I don't really see around anymore just simply because life takes us in our different directions. So now question number three. What is the cheapest manga that you own? Again, I can't really answer that. Actually no, yes I can. Actually, no, I can't because they're both priced. They're both priced at the same. So, anyways, let's move on to question number four. All right, what is the most boring manga that you own? Now, out of these two, uh, these two volumes, I'd say it's pretty hard to say, but I think that out of both of them, the most boring one, and this is this is hard to say because it wasn't boring anyway. It's definitely volume three of Dragon Ball Z because what it covers, it covers. Uh, it covers basically the Saiyan saga where you have Nadit, where you have Rap, Nappa and Vegeta fighting, you know, Tien and the crew, the Z fighters, all the way up until where Goku arrives and he's just about engaging his battle with Vegeta. So yeah, it's not a boring part of the series, but compared to the other one, it's boring in that sense. Anyways, now, uh, what is your favourite manga series? My favourite manga series, a lot of people are going to think that it's Bleach. Believe it or not, it's not Bleach. I like, I like Bleach and people wondering like, oh yeah, Bleach is the only thing that I review at this moment. That's going to be changing soon, I'm going to be reviewing several other different anime and even manga. But Bleach isn't my favourite series. I like Bleach, don't get me wrong. It's one of my favourite series, but my favourite series, in fact, is Naruto. Naruto's been my favourite series for a long, long time and it's not because I can relate to it or anything like that. I just, I like the concept of ninjas. I just like, I just like Naruto. You know, everybody's got their own preference, but don't get me wrong, I'm still down with that Bleach. Obviously, you can tell that I'm dedicated and loyal to the series, and I do my hardest, and I do my best when I put out my reviews, as you can obviously tell. Anyways, question number five. What is your most relatable manga? What is the most relatable manga that you own? You know what? Quite bluntly, none. And the reason I say that, because I've never been that kind of person that's like, oh yeah, I want to be just like uh, Sasuke, I want to be just like Ichigo, or, you know, I want to be just like Kenpachi because he's badass, like, or even if they go about things a certain way, like, I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, what would Ichigo do in this situation? No, I've never been one to think like that. I'm a very independent and very strong-minded and confident person, so I've never really had the issue of thinking, like, what would somebody else do in this situation, because I can trust my own judgement. And that's something that, you know, I wish that everybody else was able to do. But to trust their own judgement and trust, have confidence within themselves. Anyways, let's move on to question number six. Question number six. Uh, sorry. What is the one manga that you own that is based off an anime? No, I don't think it's any because out of the two that I do own, I believe that the manga obviously came first. So, yeah, that's that. Alright, question number seven. Uh, what is your most rare manga? I actually don't know um, because I guess you could say that you know the very first volume volume 3 of Dragon Ball Z that I own is the most rare one but then again it's hard to say because I don't know if this one is good contains from uh, Nappa fighting the Z fighters all the way until the beginning of Goku vs Vegeta or is it this one where uh, is it this one where it begins with uh, intro introduction to Cell so yeah well, this one's in the Cell Saga uh, yeah we've got Ultimate we've got um, Kid Gohan we've got Team Gohan where he first powered up fighting against Cell as you can see here, all the way up until, all the way up until, 
Yeah, all the way up until Earth, where Future Trunks uh, basically destroys uh, Cell in his timeline. So yeah, it goes all the way from there to there. So I don't know which one's the most rare. You could argue that, you know, the, the oldest one's the most rare, or this one's the most rare, but I, also, I personally don't know. You guys can do the research and find out, because personally, I cannot be bothered. Alright, question number eight. This one was worth a bit different. Like, what if one of your re basically what man if one of my if one of these mangas that I own was reprinted, basically would I go and get it up or I don't really get that question. I don't really get it, so we skip that one. Question number nine. What is the most popular manga series that you own? Well I only own one manga series, and that's Dragon Ball Z, and it's quite popular, so yeah, that's kind of a no-brainer there. Alright. Uh what is the most damaged manga that you own? Alright. I don't know, I take pretty good care of them, you know, as you can see, uh, probably, maybe this one, because it got like, maybe a slight, uh, a slight tear in the corner, but it was given to me like that anyway, but since then, I don't know, like, if I open it up, uh, all the pages seem to be intact, like, there's not really any significant bending or tearing on any of the pages, nah, I look after my stuff, man, it's all in pretty good condition, yeah, that's just how I am, I always look after my stuff, gotta make stuff last, you know, alright, uh, so this would be question, I'm not sure what question number this is, but I've got about four questions left. Which manga has the most amazing art? Art-wise, definitely volume 19. Volume 19 of Dragon Ball Z, definitely the most amazing art. Because if you just look at the artwork here, you can just see, like Akira Toriyama, he's done an amazing job of capturing the motion of Gohan um, when he's blocking and dodging Cell's attacks. Like, art-wise, art-wise is incredible. Even the part where you see even Goku about to do the inst instant transmission and teleport away and take Cell away. Like, where's that page again? Yeah, look, look at the artwork on that page. It's damn good. Yeah, man. I think this one, this volume, definitely has the most amazing art. Maybe because he just had the most going on. Anyways, what is the oldest published manga that you own? So this will be question number 13. Alright, so what is the oldest published manga that you own? The oldest published manga that I own, quite obviously, is volume 3 of Dragon Ball Z. Moving on. What is the newest manga that you own? The newest one that I own, but it's not even new anymore, but it's volume 19, because there's only two that I own. Um, what is the most recent manga that you purchased? Can't answer that question, because obviously, I haven't personally bought any manga. But, now that we're done with all 15 questions, let me get into like uh, about stuff about manga anyway. As you can tell, I only, I only realistically own two manga, and never actually purchased any, any, because I've always been an anime fan over a manga fan. But that's actually somewhat changing, for the simple fact that, what I've always said, and my long-term subscribers will know this, that when Bleach ends, I'm actually going to go out and buy, I'm going to go and buy every single volume of Bleach um, for the entire series. So that, yeah, that's going to be one hell of a package, but... So look forward to that unboxing, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing that for Bleach, and I'm going to be doing that for Attack on Titan, obviously when, this, when that series ends, which could be several years, but, you know, I'll do it when it ends, because I've never been really one to, you know, uh, start collecting the series as it's going on, simply because, you know, if they decide to, like, discontinue it or something, I like to have complete sets. So, if it does go all the way through to being finished, I'm like, okay, I can go get a complete set. But it will jar me, like, it's kind of probably like an OCD thing of mine that it will jar me that if I start buying something and I can't complete it because they decided that, you know, we're not going to push this out anymore for whatever reason. So that's my reasons why I don't really buy anime and manga, why I don't really buy manga until it's completed. So that's what I'm going to be doing with Bleach and I'm going to be doing that with Attack on Titan. And I'm going to do the same with Naruto as well because obviously, as you know, Naruto is my favourite series. Anyways guys, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick manga tag. Um, who am I going to tag next? Who don't know has actually got manga and will actually do this? Ah, uh, there we go. What potential L I tag you? Yeah, so look forward to what potential L's are response video to this. Anyways guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's your boy Shimigami X, aka your Captain Captain X, leader of Squad X. Anyways, I'm signing out and as always my people, take care. Peace. Keep it 99 plus 1, that's 100.